this is just about creating an obstacle and adding water fill it for example like a glass of water so let's just start right away into 6060 go into navier menu presets low level and use the liquid setup and these are just our default setup that creates a liquid source which has water particles emitted and which are flowing down and colliding with the fluid simulation domain container all right there you go we already had this and now we would like to have a glass of water and we want to fill that water inside of it so we have to make it an obstacle first so let's just assume this is a glass i choose a hemisphere and just you know rotate it like this all right making it a little bit bigger for a glass of wine or something and maybe i scale it up a little okay gotta turn that primitive like this okay that's cool let's just assume we have a glass model beforehand all right the first thing we need of course because we now need to make another volume for that glass so i just simply copy this one glass volume like this and i call this glass mesh and as we can see we still have that sphere here which is also in that glass mesh defined but we don't want that we kill this one And now something is missing here and we put our sphere a glass sphere let's just rename that one glass as well but we have a problem now because there is no real volume uh, in this glass model like this because uh, we have no inside no outside we just have a surface of glass when i now turn on the display for the volume like this we can see that it kind of registers this but uh, you can't be sure that we have it all covered because it's just surface all right so what we do first is we turn this one off go into the glass model to the polygon section now we well select the polygons uh, of uh, that area that needs to be filled and we just do an extrude here extrude with create caps activate it so we kind of get a inside now we have an inside and here you can see it this is inside so this is the volume of our glass model and we now have an outside of course also here and that's all that is actually the important thing to create a volume out of it and that thickness of that wall should be well at least one grid cell as we can see here one voxel size well we're still not finished let's just keep it to o2 when i play the simulation we get the water but there's no collision yet because there's one more thing missing we need to tell the volume that it is an obstacle. So we have this quick tap button up here, obstacle on off. So let's just click it and we get that obstacle tag here. And now the volume knows, uh-huh, I'm an obstacle. All right, so let's just try this again. And you can see now that the water remains inside of that obstacle. And collides with the walls well that's actually it and the same procedure for any obstacle you would like to make make sure that the obstacle or the well the polygon mesh here that should be an obstacle has an inside and an outside so a volume and then you can simply make it an obstacle that will collide with liquid particles or smoke and fire it's just the same for any fluid simulation setup well that's all 
there is to creating an obstacle in effects. And as you can see, you can always just start with a preset and then extend it to create your actual scene. Hope that helped. See you soon.